All right. So this next type of problem is called a price change problem. It's when you have a certain price, you reduce it, or you increase it, and it changes how many products you sell. So for this one, your X represents the number of changes. Um, always in the past, our X represented the number of items. Okay, So in this case, when, the, when a price changes, and it changes how many products you can sell, these are called price change equations. The X represents the number of changes, or the number of price changes that you can use. OK, so here's the question. You have 960 sandwiches. Each sandwich is, um, you charge $6 a sandwich. For every 10 cent reduction in price, 20 more sandwiches will be sold. OK, so every time you reduce the price by 10 cents, you, you have seen that you sell 20 more sandwiches. How much should you charge to maximize, maximize revenue? So the idea behind this is you have to have a balance point. If you charge too little, you're not going to make money. If you charge too much, you're not going to be able to sell enough sandwiches to make money. So we want to know where's that sweet spot? Where is the, is the perfect price to be able to sell the perfect amount of sandwiches? Okay. So the question is, how much should you charge? to maximize revenue. So our objective is revenue. Okay? Now, how do you find revenue? Revenue is found by the number of items times the price of the item. Okay? So we have to set this up. We have to get our number equation and we have to get our price equation. So when you're setting a price change function up, you have two things that you have to find. You have to set up the number and you have to set up the price. The easy thing about this is you keep all the numbers together, right? How many sandwiches you're selling, and you keep all the price changes together. How much are you selling them for, okay? So the number equation is we started with 960 sandwiches, and when we reduce the price, 20 more sandwiches are sold. So we're going to add 20 sandwiches for every price change. Okay, so we started with 960. We're going to add 20 more sandwiches for every time we change the price. Okay, that's your number equation. So I'm going to change this so that we have the same uh, terms. The price is we started with $6 a sandwich. And now we're reducing the price by 10 cents. So reducing means we are subtracting off 10 cents for every time we change the price. Okay, every time the, the price changes, it's going to go down by 10 cents. So notice my number equation, the number of the sandwiches. The price equation is the price. So here's the key. When you're dealing with price, look for the dollar signs. Dollar sign here dollar sign here, that's your price. With the number, you just look for the number of items that you're trying to sell. Okay? All right. So now we have our revenue function. Our revenue function is the number of sandwiches times the price of the sandwich. Okay? We're just setting up revenue. Number of um, sandwiches times the price of the sandwich. So now we have to do FOIL. So 960, <coughs> excuse me, 960 times 6 is 5760. 960 times negative 0.1 is a negative 96x plus 20x times 6 is 120x minus 20x times 0.1x is a negative 2x squared, okay? Now, one thing that we, um, we didn't do, which we have done in the past, is the only thing I'm getting right now is the objective. That's it. That's all I've done so far, and I'm not even done yet. So we're still just looking for our objective. Our objective is our revenue function. So again, I'm going to rearrange this so it's in descending order. 120x minus 96x is 24x 
plus 5760. So all I did is I rearranged it. Now I have my objective. All right? So with price change, our constraint is the price, right? That's what's going to limit it, limit us. If I, if I charge too much, um, no one's going to buy it. If I charge too little, I'm not going to make enough money. Okay? So the price is always going to be your constraint when it comes to um, the price change equations. So we're going to set that to greater than or equal to zero. Subtract six. Divide by negative 0.1 and I get x, and remember to flip your sign, is less than or equal to um, 60. Just move my decimal over once. Okay? So my endpoints are 0 to 60. So again, the x represents the number of price changes. If I change it 0 times, I'm still charging $6. If I change it 60 times, that's going to take me down to 0. Okay, so those are the two values, the two endpoints that I'm going to be working with. All right, price is already solved for itself for the single variable. I've gotten my domain, and now I can go back to, and I'm going to circle this one, and now I'm going to find the derivative of my objective. So derivative of revenue, bring this to the front and multiply, bring this to the front and multiply, excuse me, multiply. I set my derivative to zero because that's where my maximum could happen. Divide both sides by negative four and I get x equals six. Again, that's the number of price changes. I can change the price six times, all right? And if each time it's 10 cents, I can change up to 60 cents, and that could give me my maximum revenue. So now I'm going to erase some of this stuff so I have more room. So there is my domain. And now I have to, to test <coughs> what's going to give me my maximum revenue. So my revenue at zero, my revenue at six, and my revenue at 60. Okay, just like absolute max, absolute min. Once you get your endpoints and you get your critical point, right, this is a critical point, then I can just test it. So when I plug zero into here, I'm sorry, into here, I'm going to get 5,760. That is my fixed amount. That's how much it's going to cost me if I, even if I never sell one sandwich. If I plug in six into here, I get negative 2 times 6 squared plus 24 times 6 plus 5760, and that amount is 5,832. If I plug 60 in to that equation, I'm going to get 0, and you can check my math on that one. All right, so here is the maximum revenue, okay? The question said, how much should you charge to maximize revenue? So if this is my maximum revenue, that means I can do six price changes, and that will give me the best price. All right? So six price changes is let me do this, 6 minus 0.1 times 6. So I have 6 minus 60 or six, yeah, 60. So the perfect price is $5.40. That's going to make me have the, the highest revenue of 5832 Now, this question is not in this particular one, but you may see it. If it asks for how many sandwiches are you going to sell to make maximum revenue? Well, you come back up here to the number you take out the number of price changes and you put in the six that you got. So it's 960 plus 120. So you're going to sell a thousand. Let me do it on the calculator because I don't trust my mental math. 1,080. That's how many sandwiches you're going to be able to, to sell. So when I sell 1,080 sandwiches at 540 a sandwich, 
my maximum revenue is 5,832, and that's a price change function.